What's up, Interweb? Rykorn here, with part 20 of Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. This is post-commentary, again, as, as I said before in the last part, my laptop is absolutely screwed. But, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. So I'm just going to keep going up this route, and this guy is following me. Stop it! Um, so that was kind of annoying. Run into a wild Mareep, which is just chilling. Level 27, so it's actually a pretty damn high level, didn't even notice that. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, managed to get around that guy, but then he sees me. I was like, well, tits. So, we get into battle with, what is he, a bug catcher? Yeah, bug catcher. What is he, he has a plusle, which is cool. Brick can take a plusle. I think I'll just go for the strength. Yeah. Just go for strength, which I think is going to kill it. Yep, that's the one it kill, because Brick is so damn strong, it's ridiculous. He is too damn strong. Next to Lanoon, I think a couple of strengths take this thing out. Pretty sure, yep. After the mud sport, I was like, okay, kind of random, but whatever. He goes to level 28, that's decent. Decent, right there. And. I'm doing, oh, yeah, I took the. Taking the EXP share off Brick here. Um, and I didn't want to give it to Bitch because I'm not going to use him, so I'd much rather the. Pokemon that are actually active on my team get some actual experience, so yeah. Um, and we carry on, we speak to this guy. Kind of kind of hilarious. I thought you fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon. And then hanging on to them somehow. But it turns out there's an HM move for fly. I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. So we go in his house and he's just got wing girls four days up in this place. Kazu just got six wing girls, just chilling, you know. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumour that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that be true? Almost certainly. Anyway, so we're going to carry on. Going up this way. Speak to this guy. Can your Pokemon use its secret power in a big pile of grass and make a secret base? Yes. Why would you say it if you couldn't? Super secret bases are kind of badass though. The ones in uh, the... Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and apparently you can be your own gym leader, which is kind of awesome. Apparently you can, uh, like, make make a gym, and then, like, send out challenges to people and stuff, and they can come challenge your gym, apparently. Which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm actually able to get over these things, because I have the Acro Bike, so I can, if I can even remember how to do it. Eventually. Oh, yeah, I tried hopping. It's that, that's the one. There we go. So I managed to get over, and then over here I find absolutely nothing. There's a place for a secret base there, and there's a place for a secret base there, and that is literally it. I was like, well, that was not worth it in any way, shape, or form. So we head back, and carry on up this way, and I was like, oh shit, ranger person. So I think I, yeah, just leave brick in front, that's cool. Oh, look at you, for someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. Sure. Whatever. Anyway, so we face a Pokemon Ranger Catherine who has a Blaziken. I was like, holy tits. I was like, well, shit. Fighting move's gonna fuck me up. I was like, shit, fighting move fucks up most of my team. Fucks up Brick and Juggernaut and Threesome. So the only real person I can switch into is Pearl Necklace right now. It goes for the Sand Attack. I was like, shit. Don't want to be missing them side waves. And, um... Yeah, get the Confuser off that Blaziken, which is nice. He's still confused. Has himself in confusion. Also very nice. Sidewave misses, which is kind of... It's to be expected. It doesn't have the greatest of accuracy, plus my accuracy has been lowered. I do hit a Sidewave, but it's obviously one of the really weak ones, because it does absolutely fuck all, which is perfect. Love it when it does absolutely nothing. Snap Side Confusion keeps hitting me with them embers, which is kind of annoying. Managed to hit the Confuser, which is cool. But he still keeps just hitting me with embers. I was like, shit. I didn't want to risk it, so I just went for the super potion. Didn't want to risk getting a crit or anything, and then Pearl Necklace is dead too, so. Uh, keep going for side waves. That one does not very much either. And uh, I do hit him a couple of times though. That one almost kills it. I was like, really? Couldn't have done a little bit more, and it allows the person to go for a fucking full restore. I was like, shit. That's not not the greatest, if I'm honest. Not the greatest. So I'm thinking at this point that 
I basically can't do anything to this thing because I don't know why I went for the spike there. I have no idea why I just went for the spike there. Um, I'm not hitting psi waves enough for it to be worthwhile for Ponex to stay in there. So I have to switch and I'm hoping that it doesn't have any fighting moves. I'm hoping it doesn't have like a double kick or something, which it almost certainly did. But I was just like, well, you know what, I'm going to have to risk it and just kind of switch and just hope that even if it does have like a double kick or something, that whoever I switch into can take it. Because Pearl Necklace ain't doing shit while his accuracy is down. So I do switch into Juggernaut because he does resist the Ember. If it doesn't have double kick, that's very nice. So I'll go for some uh, Rock Blast in this thing. Yeah, go, go for the Rock Blast. Eventually, it does have double kick, which is kind of really annoying, but it doesn't do that much. But of course, it gets a critical hit on the second one, which is obviously perfect. So I go for a rock blast, hits it three times, which gets it down to about half. And um, so I go for the super potion, heal that shit up, getting back to like just over half, I think. Why am I taking my time using a super potion? What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, anyway. Another Ember, so I go for another Super Potion, just get back up to 4, and it starts sand attacking. I was like, shit, Rock Blast doesn't have the greatest um, accuracy either, so I go for the Stomp, but still misses anyway. Another sand attack, and I'm like, this is just like deja vu. Oh, Stomp almost takes out that Blaziken, and Horn Attack is going to kill him, which is awesome. Thank you, Juggernaut, for not missing that. Pernix goes to level 30, and trying to learn Psy Beam, I was like, Halle fucking Luya. Jesus Christ. Psywave was pissing me off, so luckily I managed to learn Psybeam, and uh, it's basically Psywave, but better because it's a set amount of damage, and it's better accuracy, so I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to get rid of Psywave. Why would I use Psywave when I have Psybeam? So. Uh, next is a Whale Lord, so I'm going to switch the hell out of there. Go into Break, who has Shockwave, and I was like, alright, let's try and hit him with some Shockwaves, I guess. And uh, do it the first time, and that does just about half, which is decent. Water Gun doesn't do that much to Brick. Another Shockwave takes out that Whale Lord, so that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so, we beat Pokemon Ranger Catherine. And we register, and I don't care about registrations at all. Um, people are hurting a little bit, so I think I just heal them up real quick. Yeah, just a Super Potion each for Pearl Necklace and Juggernaut. And then we carry on, and we have another fucking ranger over here. Um, so yeah, we try and fight this guy. Who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon rangers, that's who. What about Bear Grylls, man? What about Bear Grylls? He has the knowledge for survival. He has a pilot swine. Only, only Pokemon has a pilot swine, so that's fine. Strength does a little bit less than half. I want to take that actually does a decent amount. These things are strong. I was like, alright. And he goes for the full restore. I was like, damn it! So I have to keep going. I'm gonna go for a super potion, don't wanna risk it. Getting back up to almost almost full. Another horn attack's gonna take me down to just over half. One more strength is gonna take him out, and boom, that first line's dead. Brick goes to level 29 and is trying to learn stomp. I was like, yes, sir, thank you very much. Get rid of astonish, because it's astonish. So, um, we beat Pokemon Ranger Jackson. And we register him in the Pokemon 2, which is really, really like, pointless and annoying. Uh, so I heal up Brick, and then we carry on up this way. We run into something, yeah, we run into something here. It's, it was Lecky Tongue, which is kind of cool. I was like, damn, that would have been nice to find on the first time, but whatever. And um, we have a double battle over here, so I was like, well, welly, welly, well then, who wants to be in front with Brick? So I switched Threesome into the front, because Threesome's all about that experience. Wherever and whenever I may be, I always have a parasol on my head, which does not make sense. Whenever I may be is not grammatically correct, woman. Jesus. I'll show you the true potential of me and my bird Pokemon. And he definitely doesn't have bird Pokemon, but whatever. Burnett and a Glalie, which is kind of a really threatening team. Kind of cool, though. I can dig it, I can dig it. So I go for a Strength on the Glalie, I think. Is that what I do? Yeah. Strength on the Glalie and Spark the, um, the Burnett. Very goes to the Protect though, and just just to fuck me off. Spock on that Bidet does a lot, and I get the Paralyze. Spite reduces strength by 3, I was like, fuck. 
So I just go for the stomp, just in case he wants to go for the protect again and he spites and it's like... Yep, and he does go for the protect again, gets it. But that Spock is going to take out that Burnett. So that's all fine and dandy. And uh, threesome getting that experience. I don't know why I paused. Who knows? And I go for a strength on this Glalie. Hoping it doesn't get the triple protect, which it doesn't. And a Spark is going to take that thing out with a crit. Don't know if it mattered, but who cares. Threesome goes to level 30, which is cool. Everyone reaching the big 3-0 milestone, which is awesome. Find a Hyper Potion over there, which is very, very nice indeed. Always handy to have a Hyper Potion. I don't have a Mac Bike, so I can't get up that slope over there. So I do go this way, run into a Wild Magic Arc at level 25, pretty chill. Uh, and there's a double battle over here, I can see that ninja hiding. Not very well, but he's hiding. Switch Juggernaut into second to um, get experience as well on him. And we've got Ho Ho Ho, I like Kid Trainers. And I was like, wow, it's Father Christmas over here. I like Kid Trainers, let's have a good one. And then there's this guy, if you're not on your guard, you're in for some pain. I was just like, Jesus Christ, so we've got the perv and the rapist over here, Jesus. That's kind of, kind of crazy. And, uh, yeah, so it's Kindle, Day Kindle Dayton and Ninja Boy Takashi. As a Jinx and a Skarmory, which is awesome, by the way. Great team. And, uh, I kind of blanked out right now. I kind of forgot that Jinx has ice moves. I don't know. Shockwave on the Skarmory does a lot. Ice Punch on Juggernaut. I was like, well, shit. And it kills him. I was just like, wow. Wow. So Juggernaut's dead. I was like, that is really, really shitty. Um, he was going to evolve into Rhydon and be like the closest thing I can get in this game to a Rhyperia because Rhyperia is awesome, obviously. I was like, that has just ruined all my plans. And that is really shitty. And I was pissed off at that. You should have heard some of the words I was using to describe Jinx. Jesus. Damn. And uh, I switch in threesome. And uh, Skarmory goes for the Sand Attack on Threesome, which is okay, I guess. Uh, I go for another Shockwave on the Skarmory and Spark the uh, Jinx. Shockwave is going to take out that Skarmory, that's fine. And more experience all around. Next comes in a Nidorino, I'm like, it wasn't too threatening. Ice Punch on Brick, actually does quite a lot, and I was like, jam, damn, this Jinx is powerful. Spark right to the boobs and uh, does. A decent amount of strength is probably going to take out that Jinx and a Spark in the Nidorino, so strength, boom, takes down that fucking slag who killed Juggernaut. Jesus. Brings in a Zoomeril next. I was like, alright, Spark on the Nidorino, almost kills it. Double kick on Brick, doesn't do that much because it, it's kind of weak. Nidorino, it's not stab or anything, but I do go for the Super Potion on Brick just to be sure. And I Spark the uh, Zoomeril, which is going to take it out in one hit, which is awesome. Threesome is strong. Double kick on Threesome doesn't do much either. And now I just go for the um, Shockwave on this thing, just in case it has, um, you know, Poison Point or anything. Didn't want to get, um, didn't want to get Poison Point on Brick. Didn't want to get poisoned. So yeah, that was, uh, you're pretty amazing, ho ho ho. Again, Father Christmas, you're surprisingly good. You should expect excellence from me. Um, so that was really shitty that we lost Juggernaut right there. Uh, so we have arrived at the Weather Institute right here. Nowhere else I can go. This Team Aqua guy is just blocking the way, so... End up going in the Weather Institute, and we go up here. While I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. Sure. So uh, I do uh, go in the bed and take a rest, which fully heals Pokemon, which is very nice. And then uh, I kind of derped here for a second. I was like, ah, oh, who should I put in front? Let's put Juggernaut in front, because, you know, he's not as high level as everyone. And then I was like, wait, he died. <laughs> I derped out to the max right there. So I do deposit him in the death box over here. It's such a shame. He was going to be an awesome ride on. Close the box and then I was like, wait. I just put him in Daffy's spot. Leave that spot open to remind myself that Daffy's supposed to go there. So, um, yeah. So we carry on. And then I realize at this point, I only have three active Pokemon in my team. Because Bitch I don't use. And Daffy's just there as a, as an, there. Surfing bitch. So uh, go back to the PC again and bring out. I don't even know who I bring out. I think it, yeah, it's ass. Bring out ass. See what it can do, kind of thing. Um, so now I put the EXP share on ass, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just to get him up into a dust ox and get him evolving and all that. 
Jazz Zooey, find this team aqua person, huh, what's a kid doing here? Well, I'm here to fuck up your plans, honestly. Um, as a love disc, I was like, okay, sure. Shockwave almost takes this thing out, as it goes for the attract. I was like, Brick, are you seriously attracted to a little fucking heart-shaped piece of shit? Turns out he is, honestly. And then he goes for the shockwave the second time, which is going to take out that stupid heart disc thing. This is, huh, I lost? Yes, you lost. You lost to Rykwin, because Rykwin's awesome. So I go around, I was going to go up the stairs, but I was like, fuck it. Experience is always good, so we fight this guy instead. You quit meddling! I sound like a villain out of Scooby-Doo, man. Um, he has a mighty Ina, and gets intimidated and brick. I was like, that's not great, honestly. That's not ideal. Uh, but I just go for the strength anyway, which does just less than half. I was like, well, if he didn't have Intimidate, that would have been a two-hit kill. But as it is, it isn't. Um, just kind of annoying. It was three hits, but it doesn't really matter because he didn't do much damage to me anyway. It brings the in comes the battle, and I just go for the strength, which kills it with a crit. I was like, yep, there we go. That's what you get for Intimidating me in the first place. So I go back and heal up again, just because Super Potion's overrated. Wait. Oh yeah, <laughs> I doped out again. Went onto the PC box for absolutely no reason. I was like, why the fuck did I just do that? Then go to the bed. I don't know, it was kind of like a subconscious thing. I accidentally did it twice as well, which wasn't great. Um, go around this guy and get up them stairs, go to the second floor, and there's a double battle over there. I was like, hmm, who should I put in? And I don't know why I'm pausing for ages, because it's good how it is. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, I have no idea what I do in these things. Ugh. Anyway, why did I just check it again? I literally just checked. What the hell is wrong with me? Wow. The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We're here to take them. Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon too. That's a no-no. We're here to get it first. Well, no. As I said to the person downstairs, I'm actually here to fuck up your plans, not to get any Pokemon. So, whatever. Um, so, I go for the strength on the Paras, which is going to be like... Ridiculous amount of damage and a spark on the um, Porygon. Effect Spore puts Brick to sleep. I was like, really? Really? Ugh, Spark of the Porygon does a lot of damage and gets the Power Hacks too. I was like, yes! Sharpen increases its attack. I was like, okay, sure, if you, if you want to do that. And Brick's still napping. Spark of the Porygon takes it out. And Astro's a level 20, which means it's going to evolve at the end of the match. And there's a Juggernaut, just to rub it in my face that Juggernaut just died. I was like, that is fantastic right there. Uh, so I'm hoping Brick wakes up at some point. Go for the strength on the Baltoy. And I switch into Poe because because Threesome can't do shit to either of them. Um, I do wake up, get the strength on the Baltoy, which kills it in one hit. Fury attack on Brick ain't gonna do shit. I'll just go for the strength, considering I can't do anything else this round. I want to go for the Psybeam. Which I know is going to do a lot more than a strength, but Psybeam does way more than half, and a strength is going to take out that right horn, which is awesome. So we beat these Team Aqua grunts. Oh, will you look at my Pokemon? Mm, no. So Ass goes to evolve, which is cool. Finally evolves itself into a, into a Dustox, which is nice. Um, and it learns Moonlight, and I was like, that's, that's kind of cool. So I was like, wait, so what moves does it have now? Because it just got Moonlight. And it has Harden and Moonlight. I was like, wow. You are awful. Um, so, we carry on through the Weather Institute. There's a guy there, and I'm like, alright. Experience is experience, so we'll just fight this guy too. And I cannot remember for the life of me what he has. There's three Pokemon. It's a Curlier is the first one. Obviously, strength that thing. Boom. One hit kill. Because Curlier is frail as hell. Level 31 for Brick, which is nice. The next is a Cascoon. I was like, ha. Just evolved you. Go into Pearl Necklace and hit this thing with a Psybeam. Boom! It's going to take that thing out in one hit because everyone on my team is too damn strong now. And lastly, is a Metapod. I was like, yeah, let's just stay and hit this thing with a Psybeam. And that's going to take out in one hit. That was like the easiest battle ever. Awesome. So we move on to this bitch over here. I put three some in front. And onwards we go. So we speak to this bitch over here, ah, ha, 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 ha. and I was like, wait, are you related to Watson? You're going to meddle in Team Aqua affairs, you're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. What? I'm so cute, I'm disgusting? Huh? 
Anyway, Aqua Admin Shelly has an Eevee. And I go for the spark on this thing. Boom! He's gonna do like three quarters. Quick attack, don't do shit. And another spark is gonna take that Eevee out. Nice. And I blanked out, did not see what that Pokemon was when I was actually fighting. And I was like, holy shit! Moltres, as it came out. I was like, well, it can fuck me up with a fire move, so I'm gonna switch the hell out of there. I'm going to Brick hit this thing with some, some shockwaves. That was a good thing I switched out because that Ember did a lot to Brick. That would have done so much to three soon. It probably would have killed him. So Ember takes me down. Another shockwave is going to take it down to Red. I was like, it's probably going to heal, which is a good time for me to heal too. Went for the Super Potion, forgetting that I actually have a Hyper Potion, which is awesome. Ember takes me down to half, so I use another Super Potion, get me back up to pretty much full. Ember takes me down again. And a shockwave is going to take that Moltres out, which is awesome. But that was kind of lucky. I ducked. I did not see what Pokemon it was when I was originally fighting. I was just like, oh, I'll just stay in. Anyway, so we managed to beat this fucking Team Aqua bitches. It's bad enough to have Team Magma doing some shit. What makes you... I don't know, I've missed that. We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. It appears to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. Ah ha 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 ha! Team Magma, just you wait. Why do you keep saying ah ha 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 ha? Nothing is funny. Jesus Christ. So this guy is saying thanks for saving us. And he gives us a cast form. Now I was like, well, alright then. Do you want to give a nickname? I was like, yes. This is like the easiest nickname ever. How did this ever pass through Nintendo? How, how did this stay in, in the game? That's what I want to know. How was it not taken out? Because it has chin balls. It really does have chin balls. It's like the most obvious, like, Pokemon similarity to real world animals or things. It's like you can, you can say that, you know, a Rattata is of a rat. But, Cast Form's chin balls resemble balls. Like, undeniably so. It's crazy. So I switched cast form out with bitch, because I'm not going to use bitch quite honestly and I'm done with it. I'm over over using him as like death fodder and stuff so we got chimbles in the team now which is not too bad, uh, jolly nature and I was just like well that's kind of shit because that reduces special attack I think for speed um, and all of his moves are special obviously, well he only has powder snow but any moves he would get would be special. Um, so that's really shitty. Uh, but. I can't remember what I'm doing. Oh, I take the EXP shot off as and give it to Chinballs, because I'd much rather use a cast form than a Dust Ox with no attacking moves, quite honestly. So, yeah, switch out the Mystic Water for that, and that's fine. And then uh, I do end the part here, guys. Um, so thank you for getting through another flipping post commentary. These are awful, I know they are, and I'm sorry for that, but. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to tune in next time when hopefully it won't be post commentary if I can get the videos back. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Rykwin and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.